I'm sure you'll remember where I left my camera last night. Well, it's the same spot, but now I'm in the middle of a lake. And uh, that's what happens when you're in Death Valley and it rains all night long. Uh, my morning shot really isn't there anymore. It would have been kind of cool, I guess, but you never really know. Yeah, but I'm in a lake now. And I'm kind of slowly sinking in. In this beautiful, salty quicksand that is known as Death Valley. As soon as it was bright enough to see an image on the ground glass, I went ahead and moved my camera around to see if I could find another composition, but I really couldn't find anything. And I think the main reason is that the area I selected yesterday, you know, I chose it for a reason. And that reason is that it was really well defined. And as I moved away from that area, you kind of end up getting more of the ridges that dominate the scene and the dots are less defined. And so, I don't know. Uh, it's not a big deal because there really wasn't any interesting light anyways. It was just kind of overcast like you see right now. But now I am determined to move somewhere else, find something else that's interesting to photograph. I got a few ideas, but all those ideas take me away from here because it's pretty uh, muddy and nasty and filthy here. And uh, less mud would be a wonderful thing. Many people have commented on my patience as a photographer. Though I'm indeed quite patient, my sense of motivation is directly linked to my ability to capture an image. I approach each trip with a set of specific goals, and yesterday's photo was the realization of my primary objective. I was now without a sense of direction, so I felt a trip to Dante's view would help with that. There's something about sitting atop a mountain that brings clarity to any situation. I watched that morning as a storm broke, and clouds dance gracefully along the rugged peaks. There comes a time in each trip when I know my job is done. Sometimes it happens in a moment of sheer frustration where I question my very role as a photographer. Other times it happens in a moment of tranquility while sitting atop a mountain on a blustery January morning, pondering the seemingly impossible scale of the land before me. After a long week of hard work, I knew it was time to head home to the warmth of family and friends. Thanks as always for following my journey.